This video is about the map of complex analysis. Now, after covering the whole course on complex analysis topic, I made this systematic map which contains the most important things from that long complex analysis course. So now in this video, we will take a closer look to this map. You can download this map in HD from the link in the description below or from the card right up there. But before taking a closer look, I request you to please share and like this video because it took a really long time to make this map. So if you share this video, I will get support. So now let's begin. So now it starts from the center. It is a type of mind map and says complex analysis. If you like this mind map, please comment down below. I will make more type of mind maps in my channel in future videos also. So now first let's go to this branch, which is what is it? So it is the study of complex numbers like Z equal to A plus IB and A and B are real and IOTA is equal to root of minus one. Now let's go to this branch. There are some small branches and there are some long branches like this one. So now why it is important like this says like real world problems are sometimes easier to solve using complex analysis. Now it mostly helps in modeling things, quantum theory, solving integrals and much more. Now this is the end of this branch. So now let's go back. Now let's go in here. It says the origin. So now to solve this equation x square plus one equal to zero, we need a number like root of minus one, which is iota which do not appear in real line. Hence complex analysis was born. So this is the end of this branch. Now let's go to back and now let's go in here. Now complex numbers are also called imaginary numbers. So now let's see how do we imagine them. Complex variables are two dimensional having X and Y real variables. Hence we can imagine them graphically on X, Y plane. So now this is their graphical representation and this is their polar form. From this, we go to this Euler formula, which says that e raised power iota theta is equal to cos theta plus iota sine theta. And we just put this in the polar form and we get the, this form of complex number also. Now let's go back. We go to the curves in complex plane. Now it shows the different type of curves like simple curve, simple closed curve and multiple closed curve. Now there is a tip in here which says a simple closed curve do not crosses itself, but a multiple closed curve crosses itself. Now let's go further. There are also different branches. Now from curves, we go to regions in complex plane, which are like simply connected region and multiply connected region. So now keep in mind that a simply connected region have no holes, but a multiply connected region have holes. So now this was to remind you that how to know what is simply connected and multiply connected. Now the sign convention, this paragraph contains what is the sign convention when we have positive and negative things. So now let's go back from these branches to the center. Now let's go to the de Moivre's theorem branch. It gives us the statement of de Moivre's theorem and also shows you how to find the roots using the de Moivre's theorem. It contains the whole process in here. So now let's go back to the center and now let's go to the branch of complex variable functions. Now it says that if u x y and v x y are two functions of x and y then w is equal to u plus i v is called a complex variable function where i is root of minus one. Now there in here there is a check for analyticity which are the Cauchy Riemann equations and also there is a polar form of Cauchy Riemann equation in here. So now let's go back. We were here. Now let's go in here. So here points where the function is not analytic point where the function is not analytic is called a singular point. Now in here, these are the types of singularities. Now let's go back in here and it goes to the center. Now we are remain with the integration part and this shows you how we integrate things. And normally in complex analysis, we integrate along curves. So now there are two branches. Let's go to this one. This says the Cauchy theorem and this is the statement of Cauchy theorem. And this is so the Cauchy integral formula and this branch have the Cauchy integral formula and it shows the Cauchy integral formula. 
now let's go back and let's go in here so now this branch have the taylor series in complex analysis so this is the taylor series and this one is the laurent series so laurent series is also the taylor series but for multiply connected regions so now this branch have the residue thing this shows what is residue when there is a n as minus one and now finding residue can give us the value of integrals which gives us the residue theorem so now this branch is also finished now let's go back to the center now we have covered all the branches so this was the map of complex analysis so this covers everything about the complex analysis which is most important from the course now you can download this map for free from the link in the description below also thanks for watching this video and please share and support this channel and always remember that math is everything